Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another episode of the Beat of Mazurka with me, Matt. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day out there. It's horrible, wet and miserable. And I'm here to bring you another one of my reviews. Now, all these reviews that I do on my channel since day one, I promise you they're completely honest, completely unbiased. Everything I do is my own opinion. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands whatsoever out there. And let's face it, the men's grooming industry is worth millions. There are so many beard products, skin products, and hair products out there in the market. And there is nothing worse than going out and shedding our hard-earned cash on products that you get through and you go, I don't like it, it doesn't work, it doesn't do what it says on the box and everything like that. So I'm trying to give you guys my informed opinion. Now before we start, a huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's watching my video, enjoying my videos, liking them. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because I'm just trying to kind of help promote and support these small brands out there. Um, not relying on these massive brands and everything because let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can throw at their products in advertising and marketing and promoting their products that these small brands don't have. And so I'm trying to sort of stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through. It's completely honest reviews. So I give you guys kind of my opinion on it. Now I am over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Mat, so give us a follow over there. And here we go. So a couple of days ago in the post, I got some beard oil through to have a look at. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at the packaging. We're going to have a look at the product itself and the ingredients, the price on it, and then afterwards I'm going to score it out of 20. 20 being absolutely fantastic, 10 being, yeah, it's all right, nothing to write home about, and zero, I'm not going to touch that with a shitty stick. So, first of all, the it's from a UK brand called Oh My Beard, O-M-Y Beard, and came through like this. And have a look at the it's in a cardboard box, ingredients and everything. Nice simple design on the front. There you go. That's the top. I will be putting links down below to Oh My Beard. So feel free to give them a check out. So going around, recyclable packaging and everything. And they do one product and one product alone, which is an organic premium unscented beard oil. Now, a lot of people say, why unscented? Why would you want unscented beard oil? Now, not everybody wants their beard oil to smell because let's face it, if you, you're wearing an aftershave, perfume, whatever, you don't really want two sort of like different scents conf conflicting each other. So some people would just prefer a nice beard oil, help nourish the skin, keep the beard hydrated and everything like that. So that is why some people go for unscented. Personally, for me, I prefer the scented ones, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, I can see why if you're wearing a nice aftershave, you wouldn't want the two clashing. So the actual design and logo, quite a nice simple design, kind of your standard beard and hair silhouette. And the bottle itself is in an amber glass bottle. Nothing else on the bottle apart from the logo and what it is. I might say all the information and everything and ingredients and stuff is on there. Comes with a little rub rubber pipette on the top, which is kind of my preferred method of administering and using beard oil. Um, I tend to use six drops per day first thing in the morning. I'll use seven to eight drops if um, I've washed my beard to try and lock in the moisture and rehydrate the skin because sometimes when you wash your beard and everything it can strip all the natural oils and everything out so it's nice to kind of like put some of those oils back. Don't have a problem with the little pumps, the pumps are okay. I don't see so many of them about nowadays and um, the little shaker ones that have got the stem in there with a hole on it and you kind of like tap it out. That for me tends to go everywhere. So I like this. Like I say, it's a really nice simple design. And it's an unscented beard oil. Now I have used this so I know exactly what it's like. And remember, even though all the ingredients on this is organic and everything else like that, and it's passed its CPSR um, certificates and everything, always do a test patch, okay? Whether it's on the back of a wrist or somewhere like that inside of your arm. 
because we can all have al allergies to everything nowadays um, peanuts and you name it celery and stuff like that grains pulses soy and uh, lactose intolerant and stuff like that so always do a test patch because you want to wouldn't want to smear it all over your face next thing you know you start coming up in hives allergic reaction to it your hair starts falling out and stuff like that and you start turning into a zombie which is never a good look so obviously it's unscented but i'm going to have a smell just to make sure apart from smelling the base oils in there there's no scent whatsoever the liquid itself is your kind of just off yellow color liquid putting a few drops on the hand i have done my beard already this morning dun, dun, dun. Good. It's quite a uh, medium viscosity, it's not ridiculously runny and it's not ridiculously thick. No, other than the carrier oils in there, it has absolutely no scent at all in it. So if you want an unscented beard oil, this is going to be right up your alley because inside um, the ingredients that they're using in here is organic jojoba oil, organic apricot kernel oil, organic sweet almond oil, organic argan oil and organic vitamin E oil. So I am finding with this, it is leaving my beard feeling nice and soft and my skin underneath feeling hydrated. It does feel like a good quality oil and it's very difficult to kind of score an oil out of 20 when it has no scent to it. I mean, sometimes you get a scented oil and it's the description is this and then you get it through and it smells like something completely different. But as a good standard kind of unscented oil I think it's good um, it's got the kind of base ingredients that a lot of oils have it's nice that it's um, the only thing they do is this so it means that all their time and effort and energy has gone into creating this as opposed to lots and lots of uh, kind of scents and everything like that and loads of different products um, I'm gonna score it As it is for an unscented beard oil, uh, I'm going to give it top marks and um, because it's exactly what it says on the tin. So I'm going to give it 20 out of 20 because it's a nice oil, leaves my beard feeling soft and hydrated and my skin feeling nice and soft and supple underneath and everything. So if you are looking for an unscented beard oil, then this is going to be for you. I do, like I say, prefer to use scented beard oils because I like the different scents and everything that are out there. But there you go. And like I say, I will be putting links down below to Oh My Beard, so go give them a follow. Now, before I finish this review, I'm going to be doing a lot more live reviews coming up over the next uh, few months and everything. So stay tuned for that. I've got some quite interesting, exciting bits coming through and um, that I'm going to be reviewing. Also, in one of the live reviews coming up as well, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway. So you need to have subscribed to the channel in order to be in with a chance with that. I'm uh, going to be doing a lot, lot more live stuff because I like the idea of having a sort of like on my Instagram, I'll post a picture of what I'm reviewing a couple of days beforehand. So that people are interested in it can sort of like jump into the video, ask questions and stuff like that, rather than me just rabbiting on at the camera here. Um, I am also looking for a sponsor at the moment to kind of sponsor my YouTube channel and my Instagram uh, to just to try and make it as best as I can do because all I am I'm sitting here in front of my little iPad and everything giving honest reviews and so I want to make it as best as I can. I'm not worried about graphics popping up here there and everywhere and silly stuff like that but I just want to make it as good as I possibly can do to get as best quality as I can. If anyone out there has any products that they need help with, support with and promoting and stuff like that, please drop us a message over on Instagram, comment down below or email me at mattrp74 at outlook.com. That's mattrp74, all lowercase at outlook.com. Outlook but yeah, if anyone has any comments, please feel free to comment down below. I do read each and every single comment. Thank you so much for Oh My Beard for sending that through for me to have a look at. Great little products there and it'd be nice as well possibly if you consider it in the future to do an unscented balm 
because uh, I haven't seen too many of those out on the market. So if it had the same sort of ingredients and everything else, organic as well, it would be very nice. But yeah, there you go. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day out there, wherever you are. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on loving each other. Keep on growing those beards. And I look forward to seeing you in the next review in a day or so's time from the Viking Beard. No, not Beard of Berserk or even Viking Beard. That's over there. Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Take care. Cheers.